So are you having problems losing weight and sticking to your fitness goals? Hey, Coach Julie here, owner of Bodies by Claudie, located in Kingston, New York. We are a personal training studio that helps individuals who have tried everything before finally succeed. So if you're a woman over 40 who wants to lose some weight and have fun doing it, you're in the right place. Have a seat and stay tuned for more. So let's face it, staying fit and healthy isn't always easy, especially as we get older. But it's never too late to start taking care of yourself and trying to achieve your goals. And the good news is that fitness doesn't have to be a chore. In fact, it can be downright fun. Nobody likes doing chores, right? So why make fitness a chore? If going to the gym is not fun, you're not being social, you're not getting joy of it, you're probably not gonna go for long. And now I know you're thinking, Julie, how the heck can the gym be fun? Well, it can be. And we're going to talk about that today in this video. So fitness being fun sounds crazy, right? I know. But if you subscribe to this channel, I have even more videos showing you how fitness can be fun. So click the subscribe button before you continue watching this video so you can get up-to-date information on how I show you how fitness is fun. Have you subscribed yet? Let's talk about Zumba, for example. Now, I don't teach Zumba, we don't have Zumba at my studio, but every now and again we do it and it's fun, right? So it's a high energy dance workout. Now it doesn't actually have to be Zumba, just dancing, right? And it's not only great for burning calories, but it's a lot of fun. So you get to move your body to upbeat music and dance with a group of like-minded individuals. It's a great way to get your heart rate up and release some stress at the same time. And if you're not a good dancer, you get some laughs with your friends because you know, you're know you having a good time, making a fool of yourself, and nobody cares because everybody's making a fool of themselves because maybe you've never done this class before. You're not a natural dancer. You don't have a beat. It's okay. Because when you're in a room of like-minded individuals, none of that matters because nobody is focused on you. They're focused on themselves and trying not to fall, trying not to make a complete fool of themselves. And they're laughing and having fun. And when you laugh, you're forgetting about the sweat dripping off your face and the calories that you're burning. That just becomes a bonus because you just had a good time with some friends and some new people that you probably just met. So Zumba's not your thing. I get it, because it's not mine. I have no beat and have, cannot dance. I'm lucky I can stand on my two feet. So maybe weightlifting is more your thing. It sure is mine. Contrary to popular belief, lifting weights isn't just for bodybuilders. And you're not going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger if you lift over five pounds. If you're a female watching this video, you won't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger unless you start taking testosterone. And if that's not in your plan, don't worry about it. You're not going to look like it. It can actually be a very effective way to lose weight and tone your muscles. You know how many times I get told I want to tone, I want to look tone? Well, that's going to require to lift weights heavier than five pounds, even eight pounds. So, it's also empowering to be able to lift heavier and heavier weights as you get stronger. I can tell you that one of the most rewarding things is when I have clients figure out that they can lift heavier weights. There are many times where I look at a client and I'm like, grab the 17 and a half pound dumbbell while they're using the 12. And they're like, I can't do that. Try it. And they amaze themselves. A lot of times people tell me that, you know, those dumbbells are too heavy. And I ask them, how much do those groceries weigh that you carry in from the car in one trip? I don't know why when it comes to dumbbells, people get nervous because they see the number. 
And it doesn't matter how heavy the dumbbell is if you can properly lift it. It doesn't matter if it's 20 pounds, if it's 10 pounds, if it's 8 pounds. If you can lift it, that's all that matters. And that means that you're getting stronger. And that should be the goal. Because the stronger we get, the less likely we're going to be hunched over when we get older. We're going to get osteoporosis and all of that other stuff that happens as we age. The stronger we are, the less likely all of that is going to happen and aging is going to take longer. You can't stop that number that you are every year from going up, but you can stop the effects of aging. And how do you do that? Lifting weights. If you were to come to Bodies by Claudia, you will see women of all ages and they're flipping tires, they're lifting heavy weights and they're okay. They're not getting injured. And they're, you know, I had a client the other day tell me that they moved 70 bags of mulch over the weekend and they weren't dead the next day. Where last year before she joined Bodies by Kaladi, she was, she couldn't move for a week. And even her husband was amazed at how much stronger she was. Because here we train for life and that's what's important is how strong you are so you can do these daily tasks. So let's not forget about yoga. The ancient practice is great for improving flexibility and reducing stress. It's also a good workout for your core and can help you achieve a toned, lean body. So I tell people all the time, you can't just do yoga. You have to lift weights. You have to do something else. But yoga is a great supplement, especially if you have a stressed life. And nowadays, who doesn't have a ton of stress? So yoga is helpful for relieving your stress, for your mental health, and also for helping stretching out those muscles, obviously. And it will help you get that toned look you're looking for. Because doing movements like downward dog and bird dog, they take strength right? And you're working your core and know your core is not just your six pack, you know, your abdominal muscles. Cause I know I just said six pack and you're like, the only place I have a six pack is a fridge. Everybody has a six pack. Some are just hidden a little bit more. So it's more than your abdominal muscles. Your core includes your back muscles, your hip muscles, your leg muscles. Even some of your shoulder muscles are a part of your core because your core is what keeps you upright and helps with your balance. It's a big misconception that it's just your abdominal muscles. And I get all the time, oh, I want to work my core. Well, you are working your core. And there are many exercises that you do that you think you're working your arms and the next day your abs are sore because you're working your core with a lot of things you do. And yoga is very good for that. And it's a very good addition to a general fitness plan if you're trying to lose weight. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but of course, exercise is only part of the equation when it comes to weight loss and staying healthy. You, you also need to fuel your body with the right foods. That's why I always make sure to have plenty of healthy options in my kitchen, like fresh fruits and vegetables, lean protein and whole grains. So what is lean protein? Chicken breasts, steak with very little marbling in it, Ground turkey, if you're getting ground beef, I tell people try to do at least only 80, it's 80% 80 fat free. And there's only 15% of fat in it. Anything more than that is, you know, not good. And once you get up to like that 95, 5%, they even have 98, 2%, then you really have to put like olive oil in it so it's not dry. And then that kind of defeats that purpose because you're adding fat into it. So I really like to tell people, you know, 80, 20, 85, 15 is really where you should go for ground beef. And if you like turkey, you can have ground turkey. Myself, I'm not a fan of turkey, so there's nothing wrong with eating a hamburger, okay, as long as it is lean and it's not doused in butter on a grill and all that stuff. All right, and then pork chops, you know, you can cut off the fat with chicken when you're making, prepping the protein, trim the fat off. Um, you know, turkey legs with the skin on it, not the best, but depending on how you're cooking it, it's not going to detour your, you from your goals. And whole grains, what's that? Well, quinoa, couscous, 
brown rice, things like that. You know, so having heavier grain bread instead of white bread, your body just processes it differently. Fresh fruits and vegetables. So, you know, I, I know it's a pain in the neck to cook fresh vegetables, but try them on the grill. It's really good that way. Um, and frozen vegetables just lack some of the nutrients because they've been frozen. Canned vegetables are a big no-no. The chemicals and stuff that are in there and the preservatives to keep them in the can, just gross. Like canned vegetables freak me out. Like how long have those things been in there? And it's just gross. And then they taste like metal. Like gross, 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 gross. So stay away from canned vegetables, please, please, please. Um, so fresh food is what you want when it comes to being healthy and weight loss. You want to stay away from as much processed food as possible. And, you know, when I need a quick and easy meal or snack, I love making smoothies. They're a great way to get a lot of nutrients in one drink, and they really are delicious. You know, you can put avocados, fruit, fr you know, and that's where you use uh, frozen fruit, almond milk. You can put some Greek yogurt, some oatmeal, all of that in one shake. It's even good as like throwing some mint in, getting some herbs in there and just put all this stuff in a smoothie and you have a meal and it's quick and easy. So if you're running late in the morning, throw a bunch of stuff in a blender and walk out the door. You're taking your drink with you and sipping it on the way. You can drink your coffee in the car. You can drink a smoothie in the car, you know, and even um, sometimes for lunch when it's hot out in the summer, I love a smoothie. It's nice and refreshing and cold and cools you off. Put some protein powder in it and, you know, Greek yogurt and it ups the protein and it's a really good nutritious meal. So there you have it. Fitness and weight loss doesn't have to be boring or a miserable experience. You know, between dance class, lifting weights, yoga, having some healthy, fun meals, it can be fun and rewarding because it'll work. And in fact, it can be as a lot of fun as long as you find the right types of exercise that you enjoy and fuel your body with healthy foods. So if you don't like Zumba or dance class, you know, try lifting weights. If that doesn't work for you, try yoga and maybe walking around your neighborhood. Go and join a group personal training studio like Bodies by Claudia, where you have a community and you're lifting weights and you're dancing and you're doing all this stuff but you don't realize it because you have a like-minded community around you and you're laughing and you're having fun and you're making new friends and you're being social. But if you only get one thing from this video, I want you to remember that if you're not having fun, it's not worth it. If exercise becomes a chore, you are doing it wrong. So click the link in our description and download a 14-day pass where I sh can show you in 14 days how we have fun here at Bodies by Kaladi and fitness will never be boring again. And if you're not local, train with me online. That link is also in our description. And make sure you're subscribing to our channel so you can get more videos where I update you and give you tips on how to make fitness fun and so you can lose that weight for good and never find it again.